a white English band, Alexis Corners Blues Incorporated, set out to play the new music. The band's drummer was a certain Charles Watts. Later, the band were to add a singer called Mick Jagger, a student at the London School of Economics, whose image was something quite new on the jazz scene. The thing that fascinated was the way his hair swung. You used to see Mick moving his head and the hair would swing backwards. It wasn't all that long, but it moved, it swung. And it was quite an extraordinary thing because no one else had moving hair. What sort of person was Jagger in those early days? Um, <laughs> slightly grumpy, which hasn't changed, has it? I mean, you know, he can be. Mick can be grumpy if he wants to. Um, but very, very much into, he was, he, was, he was in it for the music. He really was in it for the music. And he and Keith were always together. I mean, they, they, they were the couple, they were the lads from Dartford who used to come in every week um, and come down to the Ealing Club or uh, we used to live in Moscow Road then, which is all of 500 yards from where we're sitting now. Um, and we had a kitchen window which certain people knew how to open and used to get up in the morning sometimes and find about five bodies stretched out on the kitchen floor. <laughs> 